Hi, everyone. My name is Elise Frumpf, and I'm a research geologist at the USGS Astrogeology Science Center. I'm also project manager for the Planet Project. Uh, today, I'm joined by Lori Pig. Hi, I'm Lori. I am a PhD student at Northern Arizona University, and I'm also a Pathways intern at the USGS Astrogeology Science Center. Great. Thanks, Lori. I asked you here today because we got a question on our website. The question is, why is dust dangerous? So you can see in this image behind me, this is a picture taken on the moon by the Apollo astronauts. And you can see that there's dust everywhere. Can you tell us why this dust is dangerous? Yeah, dust is dangerous for a lot of reasons. On the moon especially, it's a little bit static, so it sticks to everything. Um, it gets into electronics, and for astronauts, it's really dangerous because if it gets into your lungs, it causes a lot of problems. So if they go back into a moon base and inhale it, it can really tear up the lungs, and it's really a problem. Wow, that sounds really bad for astronauts. What about robots? If we send rovers to the moon, are they safe from the dust? Yeah, in some ways, robots are a little bit better because they don't have lungs. They won't breathe it in. But a lot of rovers right now are using solar panels. And if that dust gets onto the solar panels, they can't recharge as easily as if they were completely dust free. And that happened with one of the Mars rovers recently. Opportunity got a lot of dust on its solar panels and unfortunately couldn't recharge its batteries. Oh, that's too bad. That sounds like a major hazard that we should really work on mitigating. Uh, and you know, both of us, we live in Arizona and in Arizona, we get giant dust storms called haboobs sometimes. And so I guess dust is a problem on earth too. Absolutely. Well, thanks for joining us and thanks for watching the video. If you have more questions for our planetary scientists, or if you want to learn more about the hazards of space dust, go to the planet's website. And thanks. We'll see you next time.